What did Mac Miller overdose on? Mac Miller accidentally overdosed on fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. In September 2018, music star Mac Miller died at his home in the Los Angeles area following an accidental overdose of fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. The rapper producer was 26. The following year, three men were arrested for their roles in selling counterfeit oxycodone pills containing fentanyl to Mac, who'd reportedly requested the painkiller Perco. April 2023, the New York Post reported that, according to the New York City Medical Examiner's Office, actor Frank Vallelonga Jr. who appeared in the Oscar-winning 2018 biographical drama, Green Book, and popped up in a 2004 episode of The Sopranos. The Sopranos died in late 2022 of an accidental overdose of fentanyl and cocaine. He was 60. Green Book is based on the life of Frank's father, who was known as Tony Lip. More, stars who died in freak accidents. Overdose death of The Wire actor Michael K. Williams. New York, AP, four men believed to be members of a drug distribution crew have been charged in the overdose death of actor Michael K. Williams five months ago, authorities said Wednesday. All four were arrested Tuesday and were in custody based on criminal complaints in Manhattan federal court, including one defendant who was arrested in Puerto Rico, according a news release from U.S. Attorney Damian Williams and New York City Police. Commissioner Keechan Sewell Three defendants were scheduled to make initial appearances in Manhattan federal court to face narcotics conspiracy charges alleging the distribution of fentanyl-laced heroin that resulted in the death of Williams, who gained fame playing Omar Little on The Wire. New York City's medical examiner earlier ruled that Williams, 54, died of acute drug intoxication September 6. He was found dead by family members in his penthouse apartment. At that time, the medical examiner's office ruled William's death an accident. Autopsy, actor Michael K. Williams died of drug intoxication. The U.S. attorney said the crimes and charges resulted from a public health crisis. And it has to stop. Deadly opioids like fentanyl and heroin don't care about who you are or what you've accomplished. They just feed addiction and lead to tragedy, the prosecutor said. Sewell said police detectives in Brooklyn lived this case, never relenting in. Michael K., Williams and his family. According to court papers, Williams' death resulted from drugs sold by a drug trafficking organization that has operated since at least August 2020 in Brooklyn's Williamsburg neighborhood. Authorities said members of the organization sold the actor heroin laced with fentanyl September 5. The court papers contained photographs, including one in which defendant Irvin Cartagena can be seen executing the hand-to-hand -hand transaction. Authorities said. They added that the screenshots were taken from surveillance video. It was not immediately clear who would represent Cartagena, 39, of Brooklyn, in court. Authorities said that the men continued to sell fentanyl-laced heroin in broad daylight amid apartment buildings in Brooklyn and Manhattan even after knowing that Williams had died from one of their products. Heroin was edged out by the more powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl. But fentanyl's effects don't last as long as heroin, and so xylazine was added to street fentanyl to give it legs, according to Sarah Laurel, who founded Savage Sisters, the harm reduction group that employs Sherman. Xylazine is not approved for humans, but it's widely available for veterinarians to sedate large animals like horses. Like an opioid, it can kill pain, but it cannot be reversed with Narcan also known as naloxone, which is used to treat opioid overdoses, according to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency. As xylazine is usually mixed in with fentanyl, naloxone can help an overdose person by counteracting the opioid, though other measures may be needed. Workers at Savage Sisters now carry oxygen tanks with them. The drug has side effects like trank walk, where people seem unaware of their surroundings, along with sores and wounds. Trank made its mark on Philadelphia's street drugs about three years ago. That's when doctors, users and those who try to help them saw a difference. Synthetic opioids, like fentanyl, are fueling the rise in overdose deaths. Over the last several years, deaths by synthetic opioids have been on a sharp incline, while overdose deaths by heroin have dropped off. Drug overdose deaths per 100,000 U.S. residents, 
2001 to 2021. Nobody was coming to Kensington to buy Trank, they were coming to get heroin, said Laurel of the Savage Sisters group. You don't go to your drug dealer and say, do you have a nutrition label with this? You get what you get and you don't get upset. And whatever you get you eventually feel a physical compulsion to do she said. Kensington now the fentanyl supply has adulterants to xylazine, is in 9 out of 10 samples of lab-tested dope in Philadelphia.